reduces poverty. During the year 2023-24, 58 BT roads have been laid for a length of 268 kilometers. An amount of rupees 261 crore has been spent under the Pradhana Mantri Grama Sadak Yojana with a view to provide pothole free and traffic worthy rural roads. My government has taken up repairs to the damaged BT road works have been sanctioned to improve the prioritized roads of the state highway for a length of 1,221 kilometer with a cost of rupees 490.80 crores and are targeted for completion by March 2024. 1,877 damaged BT roads covering, covering a length of 4,635 kilometers at an estimated cost of 1,121.85 crore has been identified to make, make them pothole free and traffic worthy. The works are in progress in different stages. Ever since the APSRTC has been absorbed into government as public transport department, there has been vibrant development in terms of revenue realization and occupancy as well as 880 new buses have been introduced through hiring system replacing the old fleet. Water supply improvement schemes are being taken up in urban local bodies from time to time to improve per capita water supply on par with national standards. My government is giving top priority to provide protected drinking water to all urban local bodies by strengthening existing infrastructure and improving service levels. Currently, about 2,000 MLD of drinking water is being supplied to 123 ULBs with varied frequency in different ULBs. New projects have been taken up in Machli Patnam, Markapuram, Produttur, Kamalapuram, Narsapuram, and Amalapuram ULBs in this year with an estimated cost of Rs. 327.38 crores and are in progress. My government has taken up Jagananna townships to promote planned and integrated development of various towns by providing basic infrastructure facilities and to address the aspirations of middle income group for quality housing and allied infrastructure by ensuring availability of clear title residential plots at affordable prices. At least two MIG layouts are to be identified in each constituency. 30 projects have been taken up with 12,042 plots, emphasizing the need to manage the process of urbanization and growth of cities. The union government has outlined the importance of developing cities and preparing a roadmap for achieving the same. As part of the larger process to develop cities under the initiative, Vishakapattam has been identified on pilot basis as one of the four city regions in the country and shall be developed as a growth hub. The Swachh Sankalpam, clean Andhra Pradesh, in intended to achieve little free garb litter free, garbage free, visually clean villages and to promote sustainable sanitation practices in rural Andhra Pradesh is being given priority. Efforts are to ensure 100% ODF sustenance in the, in the villages. My government is committed to complete the Polavaram project, giving highest priority and regarding the project as lifeline of Andhra Pradesh. All measures are being taken to complete the RR work simultaneously by rehabilitating PDF families emphatically. So far, 74.01% of overall work component and 22.42% of, of LA and RR works are completed. Sangam Barrage and Nellore Barrage across Penna River in SPSR Nellore district were completed and inaugurated by the Chief Minister to stabilize Ayakat and Pennar Delta system, Kavali Canal and Kanupur Canal. My government has addressed the leakage issue of Brahmam Sagar project through plastic diaphragm. Wall technology strengthened the Telugu Ganga project canal with lining works at a cost of rupees 600 crores to discharge water to all the projects in the in a short span of time, 
including Brahmam Sagar, and filled it to its full capacity of 17 TMC. My government has completed land acquisition and RR for Chitravati project at the cost of 280 crores and filled water to its capacity of 100 TM, 10 TMC. My government spent rupees 925 crores for rehabilitating displaced families of Gandhi Kota project and filled it with a full capacity of 27 TMCs. Second tunnel of oak has been completed, thereby enhancing capacity of SRBC to 20,000 Qsecs. Work on third tunnel is in brisk progress. My government succeeded in providing water to 77 minor irrigation tanks in Karnool and Nandial districts to irrigate over 10,000 acres through HNSS pump house project at Lakkasagram with an expenditure of rupees 253 crores. My government has completed the works of first tunnel as part of Veligonda project, bringing much needed relief to drought prone areas of Asphil, Prakasham, Nellor, and Kadapa districts. I am happy to inform that second tunnel is also through just few days ago and will be dedicated to the people shortly. Thereby, Nallamala Sagar will be able to store water with Khari rains by September 2024. Focusing on the provision of water to Kuppam constituency, the Kuppam branch canal works have been completed. The, wa the water in Pulichintala Chintila project has been stored to its full capacity of 45 TMCs by resolving the issue of R&R &R and paying an amount of rupees 142 crores to the affected families. My government is committed to providing adequate safe drinking water in the rural areas with full infrastructure to all households in the state with financial, with functional household tap connections by 2025, including to the Jagananna housing colonies through retrofitting, augmentation, new SVS and drinking water projects to cover scarcity and quality problem areas. 60.55 lakh, that is 63% of the household